special grand jury in Georgia has wrapped up its investigation into whether former President Trump and his allies committed any crimes when they tried to overturn his 2020 election loss. You may remember the leaked phone call in which former President Trump urged Georgia election officials to look for the votes needed to flip the state in his favor. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News reporter Graham Cates. Graham, now that the grand jury has wrapped up its investigation, what's, what, what do we know about whether criminal charges are on the table? What's the timeline here? We, don't, we really don't know if there are going to be criminal charges or even who would be charged. What we know is the next step, which is that on January 24th, uh, the judge who is overseeing the special purpose grand jury called for a hearing in which uh, the district attorney and actually uh, attorneys who represent media organizations that are interested are going to make arguments about whether uh, he described it as whether this was a public presentation. And, and, and what that means in, in, in Georgia for these things called special purpose grand juries is uh, they had to make a report that could potentially recommend charges. And then the DA would have to go to a, a proper grand jury and have them approve the charges. And there's some questions about whether that report should even be public. And that's one of the first things they're going to discuss on January 24th. So there's a couple of steps between now and when we first of all, find out what the special purpose grand jury found, but also whether we find out um, uh, if anyone is going to be charged. And the list of people uh, might be interesting in terms of who would be charged, or even the list of people who've already talked to this special purpose grand jury. Remind us of who, besides the former president, could be facing some legal trouble or who's been just involved in, in this grand jury investigation. Sure. The district attorney has been clear from the very beginning in both her, her public words as well as the documents she's filed that this isn't just about former President Trump. They, they wanted to take a look at the entire alleged effort to undermine the election in Georgia. And they, uh, they interviewed Rudy Giuliani. Uh, they talked to uh, Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, and who had uh, made inquiries to the Secretary of State about um, some of the concerns that uh, Trump was airing publicly. And uh, so the ones who, who we seem to have, have the most exposure, there was a group of people called uh, so-called fake electors that had uh, a scheme to uh, pose as electoral college members. And, and they've indicated already that that is, a, in filings they've indicated, that's a group that is facing um, potential issues. And then uh, Rudy Giuliani's, um, uh, first of all, fought his subpoena for a long time before he actually testified. And they've indicated um, that um, at the very least, they were interested in him in an investigative capacity. And I spoke to his lawyer today and his lawyer said, of course, you know, we're not worried about this at all. But then his lawyer also said, but we do need to see that report to see what they've got. Indeed, many people interested in the contents of that report. Graham Cates, thank you so much.